Hi everyone, welcome in. Thank you for joining us for our 1 p.m. live. My name is Gabby and today we're gonna to be doing our oil spill cleanup activity. So oceans are not only beautiful, but they're super important for our earth. There's a lot of water, plants, and animals, and it's really important for us to make sure we take care of our oceans, even though we're all the way over here in Arizona. We still have a really big impact on them. Now, what is an oil spill? An oil spill is when oil pollutes the ocean in some way. This can be from tons of different sources, from oil rigs and pipeline leaks, even runoff from gas and oil from our own cars. They estimate that one million tons of oil end up in the ocean from land locations like farms and neighborhoods and factories. So there's lots of different ways that an oil spill can happen, but how do scientists fix this? That's what we're gonna talk about today. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to my mini ocean that I have here. So oil and water, they do not mix. The oil will float to the top because it's less dense than the water and it'll form a slick on the surface. This is really bad for animals. It ends up in their fur. A lot of ocean animals can't survive this way. Birds and things, they can't fly if their wings are bogged down by lots of oil. It's also bad for plants, other kinds of marine life, and just water health in general. So we're gonna go through a couple different techniques and I want you guys to observe the pros and cons of each of these different techniques. We're gonna add in our oil to our ocean here. And oil is very thick. As you can see, it's not mixing at all. It's kind of bubbling up, floating to the surface. Now our first technique that we're gonna talk about that scientists use is something called a dispersant. Now this is some sort of soapy solution that acts as something called a surfactant. So that means it decreases the surface tension of the oil, it helps beat up the oil and spread it out. So we're gonna go ahead add some in and make some observations. What do you notice? What happens when I pour in the soapy solution? It kind of makes the oil beat up and spread out over a larger surface area. So this is good because it helps move oil over a large area. It helps dilute it. This is very fast. It helps clean animals, so they, they use dish soap like this to help clean birds and other critters that are impacted by oil spills. But the downside is it doesn't actually remove the oil. It just kind of spreads it out. So again, there's pros and cons to each of these techniques. Let's go ahead and swap out our oceans and take a look at another technique. So here we have a unspilled oil again. We're going to go ahead and pour that in. All right, so we have oil once again. Another technique that scientists use is something called a boom and skimmer. So they'll use specific mechanical devices for this, but we're just gonna use a spoon today. So the boom and skimmer method is to carefully scoop out the oil off the top of the water, collect it, and put it somewhere else. So they use uh, other devices to corral the oil into a smaller area and then they scoop it mechanically. Now, what positives can you imagine for this? Is it working pretty well? As you can see, I'm grabbing a lot of the oil, but it's taking a pretty long time. So it's pretty time intensive, takes a lot of labor, a lot of machines and people working together to help clean. But the positives is it contains the oil and this oil that they remove from the oceans, they can actually reuse again. They can separate any last minute water that's left in there and they can use the oil for some of its original purposes like fuels. All right, so that's one technique. Now the last technique we're gonna talk about is something called an absorbent. So we're gonna look at what that means. First, we're gonna start off with our clean ocean once again formulate another oil spill. And this is something that you all can do at home. This is just water, vegetable oil with some coloring in it. And all of these kind of utensils we have at home. So spoons, soap, and this one is gonna take a cotton ball. So this one's called an absorbent. An absorbent is when scientists use some sort of particulate matter, something kind of fuzzy like a polymer or a cotton ball. 
and they use that to absorb the oil off the surface, just like that. So similar to the boom and skimmer, it's grabbing onto the oil, but this is collecting it into, into an absorber like that. Now, how well is this working? What are your observations about this one? So it doesn't quite work as well with a cotton ball as it does when scientists do this out in the ocean, but the positives of this is it's actually a lot faster than boom and skimmer out in the field. And you can take this absorbent that now has this oil and you can burn this for heat. Now the negatives is they can't get the oil back off of the absor absorber, so they can't use it for its original purpose, like a normal fuel. And it does take a lot of labor too. So there's a lot of positives and negatives for each of these different techniques that scientists are using to clean up oil spills. So take some time with the people in your home and the people around you to think of what are some techniques you think might make good substitutes for cleaning up oil spills. Any new technology you can think of, maybe a new device. Get creative, make some observations. And even though uh, oil spills happen all the time. Uh, there's lots of ways that we can help in order to prevent this. One way is just by keeping things clean. It makes it a lot easier for scientists to clean up on beaches and things if the beach doesn't have trash and large items getting in the way. So take some time to pick up trash when you're outside. You can use less oil and gas, so maybe ride your bike more often. That reduces the runoff pollution that's heading to our oceans. Recycle, reuse, there's lots of important ways to help keep our ocean ecosystems safe and healthy. Thank you guys so much for joining me for our oil spill cleanup activity today. Feel free to do this at home. And again, if you can think of any cool techniques that you might think are a good idea to clean up oil spills, go ahead and post that in. Check in our website at azscience.org for more awesome science you can do at home. This write-up's actually gonna be joining the website too, so you can have a little more guided uh, experience for you while you're doing this at home. And thank you guys so much. Have a good day.